The replica of the 1919 Aussie 18-footer Britannia has had a 19th season racing on Sydney Harbour. We race every summer Saturday with a fleet of between six and nine boats, all replicas of 18-footers from the first half of the 20th century. We sailed in 19 races, less than our usual 25 or so, due to a delayed start to our season from concern over COVID regulations and a couple of cancelled races. We're thankful that we were able to do it at all, thanks to good community and government response to suppressing COVID. It wasn't a great season in terms of racing success for us, largely, I have to say, due to the unusually large number of light weather races, which don't suit Britannia at all. Our one win in the Australia Day regatta, which we have no footage on, I'm afraid, and our three seconds and two thirds were all in fresh condition. Each boat has multiple rigs or combinations for different conditions. Britannia has five combinations from our towering number one rig of 750 square feet or 70 square metres in the main and jib for light breezes to our snug storm rig of 300 square feet or about 28 square metres. Wind's on the beam, no kites. Somebody can bail, huh? Sails other than the main and jib are referred to as extras. We carry peak head spinnakers slung from the peak of the gaff. And masthead spinnakers in fresher conditions. Spinnakers are hoisted in wool stops and poled out on two to four part poles with no topping lift. Generally, if we want to use the same spinnaker again, the forehead hand will wool it on the upwind leg. Balloon jibs or ballooners are used on reaching legs and ringtails, an extension to the main downwind. Ringtails are sometimes an effort to hoist. and sometimes difficult to bring back in, especially if we have unfamiliar crew on board. Come on, grab the, grab the back end and pull it in. This season I had Sydney sailmakers modify the head to a triangle to make it a bit easier. For the first time in five seasons, we didn't win the Ferguson Ringtail Cup for the most ringtails hoisted. We were beaten by Australia Four. We launch from the park next to our clubhouse in Careening Cove. Sometimes we sail out, sometimes we're towed out. And sometimes towed home. We follow the original boat's tradition of run at the end of each race. We used to pass it around, now we serve individual shots. We Georgia used to call it a block and tackle. One nip you'd do your block, and two nips you'd tackle anyway. A spectator ferry follows the fleet, usually the radar seen here. This season repainted in indigenous patterns. Now start bringing it on now, get up there, swing hard. Most of our starts are handicap starts, a tradition started in 1891 by our founder Mark Foy, where the slower boats start first and the faster boats have to chase. This season there were mostly three to four boats on the limit of 15, mostly including Britannia. There were six championship races this season, three for the club championship and three for the Australian championship. 
and these races all had scratch starts. We were a bit late for this one. Okay, swing it hard, bring them on, bring them right on, bring them on, bring them on. Nice and slow. Okay, let's have some heel though. Let's have some heel. More heel. There was a full start in the second heat of the Australian Championship. And I reckon some were over in the restart as well. Due to COVID, our Irish mate Harold Cudmore was unable to come out here as he has for the last 18 or so years. But the boat he usually sails lately, Yendi's, still won the series and the Galloping Ghost Trophy, steered by Kiwi Josh Perebski and a crew of legends. The last race before Christmas is usually a sprint series where we do three races around a triangle in legs of about a mile each, with handicaps divided by three. It's already started. Yeah, because it's a handicap, so. first race and stranded a runner tackle so we jury rigged to get home and withdrew in the second race. Australia 4 won two out of the three races and the series. On February the 13th, with severe senior crew shortage, I persuaded Tangaluma's former skipper Peter LeGrove to come out of retirement to steer at the age of 84. And I moved forward for the first time in nearly 20 years. It showed I sent the first spinnaker out without the pivot touch. That's supposed to be. Bring her back in. I haven't got the sheet attached. Bring her back in. Bring her back in. A bit of slow crew work meant we took in a gut fit. Quick work by Phil on the main saved us from capsize. And I took a turn as bailable. We were going pretty well in the 15 to 22 knot subtly when Michelle injured her finger with the centre board kick and we pulled out of the race. Michelle needed an operation on her finger and was out for the rest of the season. We capsized once with the big rig with everything up, but the camera wasn't working that day I'm afraid. Five other boats capsized at least once, but Aberdeer won the Atlantis Trophy with four swims. Australia 4, steered by Terry Stewart, had a great season, winning the season point score, the fastest times point score, the sprint series and the Ringtail Cup. Yendi's Josh Perebski won the Australian Championship. The mistake, John Winning, won the club championship. The only thing Britannia won was the Australia Day Regatta, but we'll be back in there to reclaim the Ringtail Cup next season. We finished off the season with another light weather race with our big rig. Hey folks, well it looks like you were away. This is a scratch start with a 15 limit handicap. Looks like Smithy has pulled off the best position. We got a good start in a light westerly, which then proceeded to die. It took us 45 minutes to reach the first mark about a mile away. And 
the wind didn't come in until about an hour after the start. It came in from east nor'east, which made the remaining four legs all reaches. But it was pleasant sailing conditions after the long drifter and it will have to satisfy us until we resume racing in October. There's a boat on our uh, starboard side, folks, with two paddles and uh, I'm led to believe it's one of those boats. That's a bit far. I've yeah. been having a Marvel week. I've Tommy. been watching all the Marvel pop Fantastic. movies. I love it. Yeah, not you know they're not real. Huh? You know they're not real. <laughs> really? I thought they were well, documentaries. Why four hasn't come together? Yeah. 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 Well, another season, Dan. Well,